What's going on, y'all? So, Black Ink Crew, Season 4, Episode 9, The Duchess of Charlotte. So, this whole episode was basically about Duchess opening up her shop, Pretty and Ink. All right. Um, First, let's get, before we get all into that, let's get the first Donna shit out. Donna, I'm, ooh, ooh, because this shit just made me mad. I literally just got through watching it, and that ending of the episode, it pissed me off so fucking bad because we all know Donna fucks around. We all know this, okay? And it's such a double standard, you know, when a woman can just be free with her sexuality and all that stuff and have some, you know, go from one dick to the next dick or whatever the fuck, she's automatically labeled as a hoe. But let a dude do it, he's not labeled as a hoe. They look at it as if, okay, whatever, it's nothing. But let's be fucking honest. To keep calling this girl a hoe because she admits what she's done, she's never hit it, we know she gets around, you want to call her a hoe, fine. She'll probably say it herself. But don't sit there and act like y'all ain't never fucked around too. Okay? Especially all the motherfuckers up in um Black Ink Crew. Caesar, oh shit, Walt, Ted for damn sure, okay? And um, everybody else that's up in that bitch, Duchess, your ass too. Y'all some hoes up in that bitch, okay? Don't act like you ain't hop from dick to dick and um, pussy to pussy, okay? Don't act like you ain't never had no STD up in that bitch. For you to say that shit about Donna, oh, she's just bringing drama and STDs. Bitch, you bring drama and STDs. I'm pretty sure you done fucked everybody else in that shit too before you got settled down with Donna, um, Duchess, all right? So don't just... Don't don't put it on her like she's just the only one that do the stuff because you a nigga. Bitch, you's a hoe too. If you fucked a whole bunch of bitches, you ain't no player. You's a fucking hoe. You probably got dirty ass dick too. And Dutch has probably got a dirty ass click too. Okay? Because you don't even fucking know. I hope the fuck y'all got tested. All right? Ugh, that just pissed me off. That pissed me off. I'm sorry. Let's go back. All right. Oh, they was at Cascades. But anyway, moving on. Donna, she goes and she meet up at, um, she goes pop up on Sky and apologizes. And she was like, I ain't got your money, but I got your drink. First of all, Sky was looking like, bitch, what the fuck you doing here? But she was like, since you can't with alcohol, it's all to the damn good. And they made up. And I told y'all this. Like, if y'all look at the Snapchats, um, Fly and, uh, Fly, Sky and Donna are cool. Like, they really good friends. Okay. So I already knew that this. This was going to end like this, you know, with them making up and not, you know, they friends have a little fall out. If you're real friends, you can fall out for a second and then come right back like nothing ever happened. All right. So after that, we get this whole situation. Let me get Naeem shit out the way. Donna talking to um, Naeem and basically was like, because, um, well, she told Scott that she was going to go down there. And um, try to show Donna, no Duchess, her portfolio and all this stuff. I don't know if Donna was really trying to get hired. I don't think she was stupid enough to do that. But then she was stupid enough to go down there to North Carolina. Even though Duchess did invite everybody. But I don't know if that invitation went to Donna. But it really wasn't Duchess who said, you know, um, you can be a good fit for uh, Pretty and Ink. It was that lady who tried to kind of suggest it. And y'all saw how she reacted in the confession like, hell no. Duchess was putting up a front. Duchess is not and was not trying to be Donna's friend. She was just trying to, you know, sweep this drama under the rug so she couldn't just, you know, cut ties with Donna. She wasn't trying to be like no mentor or whatever. She said all that shit in the last episode when they had that little meetup just to soothe things over. She didn't mean that shit, okay? And for Donna, you dumb as fuck. I'm going to have to go in on you because let me tell you something. You've been in a Black Ink crew. This is probably like your third season. And... Ever since you've been on here, they have disrespected the fuck out of you. And you have allowed it because you disrespected yourself too on many occasions as well. All right? So, you can't see that, baby, this shit is a fucking game. Especially when it comes to Shade Queen number one, sneaky ass bitch, crusty lip ass hoe, um, Duchess. Is my lips dry? She can't even do that. She can't even do that, okay? You know, and I'm just sitting here like... Donna, come on, open up your motherfucking eyes and let's think, okay? Let's fucking think. This bitch is not finna have you up in the shop with her. She don't give a fuck about your portfolio. She don't give a fuck about anything dealing with you at all. She couldn't even sit down with you woman to fucking woman without bringing somebody else in to speak on her behalf. All right? My lips do feel like they look dry. I don't want to be on here talking about this bitch and my shit fucked up. Girl, let me get this. 
petroleum jelly, something Dutchess don't know shit about. You know, black folks, we use all what we can for many different reasons, okay? This petroleum jelly for your motherfucking lips. Mmm. Mmm. Mm -mm Mmm-mm-mm. That's how you do it, bitch. Get that ash off your lips, off your arms, off your body. Shit, fuck that. You know, we got to be moist up in this bitch. We too black. Mm, I think I'm a little bit too much. Black. Perfect. There you go, bitch. Don, no, Duchess, I just gave you a tutorial on how to moist your lips. Not too much, not too lot, you know, not too much, not a little. Just fucking right, bitch. That's how you do it, okay? But anyway, fuck all that. So, Donna, you was a little naive in thinking that, and I, I never understood. After all that shit that went down with the way uh, um, mm, Caesar was talking to you last season and disrespected you when you had a fucking man, when they was all up in your business and telling your business to your man, you still wanted to come back to Black Ink. I didn't understand that. And then you go talk to Naeem and you tell him that, you know, you get to the shop and come to find out one of them threw your shit in the garbage can. Throw away your tattoo and stuff, okay? You don't touch nobody's stuff. I understand that. But, and you still decided that you're going to go down to North Carolina to show her your portfolio. To be quite honest, Donna, I got to ask you what the fuck was you fucking thinking? Because, bitch, look, you could have waited till Caesar got back up there, but you already knew Caesar wasn't going to, um, Caesar wasn't going to say no shit. <laughs> But then again, you probably would have been more better if you would have just let Caesar take care of it when he got back up there and he was by himself without Duchess because he acts differently without Duchess being around him. You was more better than waiting. That's what you should have did. Okay, you was dumb as fuck for going down there, literally going down there. Who paid for the ticket this time? You paid for the ticket, so you wasted your money to go down there to show a bitch that don't give two shit cents about you? Your portfolio, girl, you is dumb as shit for that, okay? You dumb as shit and your timing was off. You could have waited till she came back up. You could have waited until she came back up. So you partly to blame for this bullshit that happened down there too. But I'll get to that in a second. So, um, Naeem. Naeem girlfriend was over it. Donna, let me tell you, girl, I be trying to, I'm not, and, and don't get me wrong, I'm not trying to take up for the fact that Donna, you know, if you want to call her hoe, you call her hoe because that's, you know, she do hoe shit sometimes, but there's a difference between people that's outwardly hoes just for the fuck of it, and then there's women that, you know, free about their sexuality. I have no problem with that, and that's what you want to be, that's what you want to be, and Donna never denied the shit that she did, like, you know what I'm saying, but sometimes it's hard to take up for a bitch that be doing some stupid ass shit, all right? Bitch, Donna, what type of fucking reputation do you really got that every bitch that come on this show got an issue with you just about? Naeem's girlfriend was like, bitch, I'm tired of you. You need to come see your, your, your baby more. I'm tired of her talking about something. Where's daddy, daddy, daddy? You staying at the shop and then you talking about something. You finna go have fun tonight with your friends. He lying, talking about something. I ain't got no friends. She said, bitch, the bitch that you hang out with, the Donna bitch. I said, damn, Donna? The fuck? <laughs> the fuck? This is the season of Donna getting her ass whooped or trying to whoop ass. I don't know because she going to get into a fight with Maxwell's baby mama next week because he still messing around with her through the jail. And she was like, yeah, we be having phone sex like every other night and stuff. I said, what the fuck is going on? And did you see her whack the shit out of Donna and Donna really didn't do shit? It caught her off guard. <laughs> I was like, damn, Donna, what the fuck is your problem? Now, see, this is why, you know, I just sat here and defended that. You know, I ain't trying to defend her actions, but this is why people say stuff about you. But then I'm just like, if you're going to call her out on her bullshit, call yourself out on yours, too, because I'm pretty sure your dick ain't dirt clean either. All right. But, um, Don, uh, um, Miss Gurley said, if you be around that bitch one more time and if you kept your dick in your pants, don't keep your dick in your pants, well, I'm going to cut that shit off. And all caps. I, I read them lips and heard that shit when she said she said that shit clear as fuck. And I was like, Naeem, she ain't playing with you. She ain't playing with you. She is not playing. I will not mm -mm, leave that shit alone. So, um, Phoenix, he was at the shop, Art to Ink. And next thing you know, his mama pop up. And he was like, what the fuck you doing here? He said he hasn't talked to his mama in two years. His mother was around and that got, fell victim to the crack. You know, it's New York, the 80s and stuff like that when the crack epidemic just went wire, haywire. And um, a lot of people got caught up in that shit. And she was one of them. And, um, you know, 
he was she was out there on the street sometimes he she'll come back and just pop up and then leave and you know they kids and you know just wishing the mama would stay and be a mother and all this stuff and choose them over the drugs and shit like that and so they really haven't had a relationship and she wanted to talk and you could tell that he was just hurt he was holding on to a lot of hurt eventually he gave in and sat down with her and he was, she was like, I didn't appreciate the way that she came up to his job like that, though. But, you know, she kind of did that because in my eyes, it was almost as if to say, you have nothing, you, you have no choice but to, you know, address me because I'm in front of your friends. Um, you on TV. I see the camera. So I'm going to wait till now so you can't act the ass, 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 you know. He acted the ass a little bit, but not as much as he could have did with them cameras off. You know what I'm saying? So they sat down and they finally had a conversation. Well, at first. His thing was, um, they bring it back to hip hop honest. His thing was, mom, I'm hurting. I'm hurting because you left me. You chose this drug over me and my family and my sisters and brothers. And you haven't, you know, been there. I'm hurt. It was so much stuff that went on in our childhood that I can't get past right now. I cannot forgive and I can't forget and all this stuff. And, you know, they say you need to forgive, and sometimes, you I, like, I can forgive, but I ain't going to forget the shit. And that's why I can never be, like, if we in a friendship, I can forgive you for the bullshit that you did, but I'm not going to forget it. And, therefore, if I can't forget the shit, I can't really trust you, so we're going to just be acquaintances. We're not really friends no more, all right? And you, that's over and done with. But it's different when it comes to family because... You know, you depending on the severity of the situation, you can't just cut family off like that. Like, snip, snip, bitch, you know. And I've done that because stuff just got so fucking severe. And I understand his frustration about what was going on because my aunt, the one who passed away, I told you guys, she had a problem with addiction. She had a problem with alcoholism and all that stuff. And her kids actually had to get taken away. And my grandmother raised her kids. And they had a on and off relationship with their mother too just like that you know sometimes they are like her sometimes they wouldn't because you know people won't keep their promises and you just learn not to expect certain things when they come out their mouth and say something you just learn not to take you take it with a grain of salt you know i'm not gonna i'm not gonna harp on it until i actually see it you know happening that's when i believe it you know it was stuff like that so i can understand that frustration because i saw it firsthand with my um my cousins and stuff and I, I'm, I'm just thankful that you know I had parents even though they were they divorced when I was four years old um they still was in my life to a certain extent that they didn't have this negative friction I ain't had to deal with um mom and daddy going to jail and all that stuff no nothing like that so I get it he was pissed the fuck off and he was hurt the mama wasn't trying to hear at first, I was like, damn, she trying to talk and you can't keep holding on. And I mean, if you want to make things better, you need to let that hurt go, you know, and, and just listen to what she got to say. But I didn't realize that he was trying to let that hurt go a little bit. That's why he was, you know, trying to talk. But the mama wasn't trying to hear it because she didn't want to be reminded of it. And the fact that he was saying, I was in pain. You put us through a lot of stuff and it hurts her. You know, that's what she's trying to at least let us see that she was hurt by what she did and she if she could turn back time and you know do it all over again she would do it better and all this stuff and she just wanted to be a part of their lives the grandkids and all that stuff and i feel like he did a good thing by at least trying because a bitch like me girl you hurt me it's gonna take a while to it's gonna take a while <laughs> if ever all right you know i'm i'm just that type of person you know as capcoms we be stubborn like that um so that was a touching scene, you know. Eventually, they came together, and that was cute now. So, Duchess get down there to South North Carolina, and every time I say North Carolina, I got to say it like old dudes <laughs> on the wood. No, no, no. I'm from North Carolina. I don't know nothing about no bloods, no cri <laughs> She pretty. <laughs> Damn, I love that movie, y'all. Late 90s, early 2000s had some of the best black films like for real for real the wood boys in the hood uh set it off soul food damn like they don't make loving basketball like come on anyway moving on monica that's <laughs> loving basketball when her mom was calling her monica i said why you gotta say her name like that anyway moving on moving on i got distracted real quick y'all like bitch get back on track i am so 
you know, Duchess is down there in North Carolina, and she was trying to get the shop ready. Um, she got her staff there. They supposed to be having this grand opening. The mayor supposed to be there. When she said the mayor was supposed to be there, no shade. I was like, girl, he ain't coming. And sure enough, he sent the email saying I ain't coming. I said, I just don't see the mayor of the town coming out there and all this bullshit. But all right, you know, um, she got frustrated because the staff was just sitting around. And I understood that. I'd be pissed off too. I have to do this grand opening and then we supposed to be opening up to the public the next day and shit just ain't right. So she had a little mini breakdown, but then she snapped back and she was like, fuck it. We going to get this shit done. If I got to get this shit done and stay up all night, everybody finna stay up all night. We finna teamwork, make the dream work. Okay. So that's basically what they did. And the rest of the crew from Black Ink, they came down to a bar in um, North Carolina and they was out there, you know, talking about stuff and yada, yada, yada. And they eventually made it to the grand opening. Duchess was a little worried because she was calling Caesar. Caesar wasn't there. But Caesar went to go get some liquor and some other stuff for um Duchess. So, you know, fine. The family was there. And let me tell y'all this. I seen the picture that y'all was circulating around saying that that was um Duchess and her father and all that stuff. If y'all, y'all, some, some of y'all are dumb. I'm just, I'm sorry to say this. Some of y'all are so quick to be a bandwagoners and just dumb as fuck. If you watch the show, you know that is not her father. And you can tell that that shit was photoshopped as fuck. All right. First of all, wasn't even the color, wasn't even the same bill, wasn't even the same face, facial structure. They superimposed, um, um, Caesar face on top of that. Like, come on, y'all dumb as shit. But anyway, um, no shade to anybody who thought that was real, but... I got to see it, y'all dumb shit. But, um, moving on. So, the daddy was there, the mom, the sister, and all that stuff. And, you know, the sister working in the shop, I think, and one of her best friends. No, one of her best friends, too. And so, everything went fine. They, you know, came in. People was, you know, chilling, having a good time at the shop, whatever. And then, all of a sudden, Caesar won a, once again, he was like, I proposed to her out there in Paris. I felt like that was selfish because the parents wasn't here. So in front of all your family, will you marry me? And Duchess was like, yes. And he got her another ring. And I'm like, hmm, this the second ring you got. And I was with Walt and everybody else. I don't give a fuck about this ring. When is the date? You didn't already propose. When are y'all going to set a real date? Because to this day, they ain't married. And I was like, so you brought two engagement rings, but then... You got to also go and buy the wedding bands for the actual ceremony. Well, you can, okay, okay. And y'all just moved to another shop. You, all right. And then Dutch has got to, now I can see that all the way over there. You know, just use my ring. Oh, I hate when people just be guardian, just, okay, whatever. Anyway, so the next day, everybody is there. Apparently, they all went out the night after the um grand opening, got drunk, fucked up, because Sky was out there, you know, with a hangover. Duchess was um tattooing pretty and ink on her mama arm and all that stuff. Fine. Here's where shit got fucked up. Donna popped up out of nowhere with her portfolio during this time. And, you know, Duchess was like, what the fuck this bitch doing here? Now, see, Duchess, this is where you... You, 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 you talk a lot of shit in your confessionals, but you don't really talk it, talk it, talk it right there to that person. Because if you was really a bad bitch and a boss bitch and all that stuff and about your shit, you would have told John, Donna from Jump, I don't fuck with you. Ain't no making up. I don't fuck with you. I don't want you about my stuff. It is what it is. You can do your business here, but don't come over here by me. All right. You didn't, we, 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 we wouldn't even have all this bullshit unless y'all wrote this in the script to have. Okay. Donna showed her dumb ass up. I said, Donna, why did you even come? Donna, why did you come? You knew this shit was not right. Why did you come? All right. And then it was cool for a second. It was cool for a second. She was like, hey, girl, you know, I just, and she was like, bitch, this bitch just popped up. She was like, I just came down here. I want to show you my portfolio and all this stuff. And um, I was like, I know you weren't looking to be hired or whatever. She was like, girl, no, nah, I just want to show you my portfolio. I said, I think Donna kind of did think she was going to get a job at Period A. And if she did, she's stupid as shit. She's stupid as shit because we all saw that that wasn't going to happen. And we all knew once we saw Donna, shit was going to go down fucking hill. Because, and I'm going to tell you why. Not necessarily because of the way Donna came in. Because Donna was respectful. It's because Duchess, Duchess is one of those people, once she gets something, 
She got to show people up a little bit to say, no, 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 I did it on my own. I got it. And this my shit. And I want the attention on me. So she going to make a fucking big scene. And that's exactly what she did. She always, and, and, and Caesar trying to say that Donna brings the drama. Your bitch brings the drama too. All the fucking time, wherever she's go. She's very fucking overly dramatic if you think about it. Remember when they went on that trip? And because her and Caesar got into it, she faked like her, um, she was having some heart problems or whatever. Because Caesar was telling her ass off. All right, come on now. Like, yo, you're marrying a drama queen. You're fucking a drama queen, I should say. And then, um, they was cool for a second. And right off the bat, when Duchess started looking at Donna's portfolio, she just started naming off, no, this is wrong, this is this. She didn't say not one good thing. She was pointing off stuff. And you can't really tell if she was doing this to be vindictive and be um to be mean on purpose or if this shit was really fucked up because we already know Donna work has not been the best yet. Okay, she I don't think she's ready to be a tattoo artist. So I don't know if it was that was 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 the case or was you know dutch is really trying to be an ass about it but with dutch you just never fucking know because she's a bitch and she don't like donna and so caesar you know as as soon as this started happening donna gets in her feelings a little bit but donna kept it cool calm and collected for a second and then when she started to reply back like man you didn't even um you just giving out all this negative stuff and gotta 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 i think caesar jumped into that shit and they started going at it. And then Duchess started raising her voice first. Okay. And I said that because all of a sudden when Donna started responding to her like, bitch, I didn't think I was coming down here to get no damn job and all this stuff. Caesar said, don't you be raising your voice at her and all this stuff. And I'm like, your bitch raised her voice first. I don't give a damn if it's her establishment, if it's her job, if it's her place, if First of all, you're renting it, so basically you don't really own it. You're, you, you know, you're renting it to own. All right, so you know it's technically not your building, but hey, I'ma just put that out there. But um, anyway, she did all that, and Duchess got hyped first, so therefore Donna responded back to it. And I just wasn't here for all of that. Um, especially like I said, that comment where he talking about some she brings drama in STDs. We already know that Caesar got a problem with women. He's very, uh, to women, okay? He's very fucking disrespectful. And it's almost as if, like, he don't do no wrong. Like, he was never a hoe. Like, he ain't never, he only fucked two girls in his whole life. You know, his first one and, you no, know, uh, his baby mama and Duchess. That's what he act like. That's what the fuck he act like. To call that girl, you know, say that all she do is bring STDs and shit. I'm like, and then for Duchess to say in the, um, confessional, uh, Donna ain't shit but a um, bitch that be laying on her back to get where she at and, you know, fucking this and fucking that. Bitch, you did the same thing. You laid on your back to get into um, Caesar's fucking air, to get into his business, to get into his fucking head. Yeah, you had your talent too, but you laid on your back to seal the motherfucking deal, bitch. Let's be fucking honest, all right? I hate that. I fucking hate that. Like, bitch... I'm pretty sure somebody got a whole bunch of fucking tea on your ass and you sitting here like your motherfucking milk is all the way fucking clean. It ain't now one curd up in that bitch. And I'm pretty sure you got a whole bunch of skeletons in your closet. And the thing of it is, Duchess, you smart because most of your shit is hidden and it ain't came all the way out yet. That's the only thing I can get you props on, bitch. But you know, you got some shit back there, okay? Everybody who work in that goddamn shop got some shit back there. You can call Donna a hoe and all this stuff. Why you don't treat um 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 Sky the same way? Because remember, Sky was the queen of the mixies. And you know them bitches was fuck. And Sky would tell you she fucked this and fuck that and fuck that. She tell you that too. So what is the difference between Sky and Donna? I'll wait. I, I what's the difference? Sky will whoop that ass for one. Donna so thirsty to be in a job. That's the other two. And then Caesar fired Don, uh, Donna. I'm sitting here like, that's why I get your ass up out of here. You ain't. I said, nigga, you sit the fuck down. And now everybody want to gang up on Sky, on, on Donna and all this stuff. And then when she goes outside, um, um, 
her mama want to come out there. Well, you know that you weren't going to get hired. Why did you do that? And I said, mama, stay the fuck out of it. I understand, you know, us family members, we, we want to take up for our people and be like this and be, you know, what the fuck is going on. But sometimes you got to step back and assess the situation, okay? And um, I know it being the heat of the moment, so we just go for it. But when the sister got involved too, I was like, all y'all asses is trash. The mama trash, the sister trash. I wish Donna would have pulled the razor out and cut both y'all asses. Just because, and I see where Duchess get the shit from. Y'all put up with Duchess shit and y'all let her get away with it. That's why she act the fucking way that she do, okay? It's one thing to have confidence and all this stuff, and then it's another thing to just be an arrogant ass asshole, and that's what Duchess is. Duchess thinks that she's just because she's college educated, she's above everybody. Bitch, you ain't the only one out here with a degree that's making it and um, you know, doing what they got to. Okay, so you know, and and it was just pathetic. You know, and then she trying to come down there and trying to fight too and all that stuff. I said, you making yourself look dumb. I understand you felt the way about this girl being there. Like I said, I wasn't here for Donna being there in the first place because I just knew it wasn't going to end well. But you ain't had to act the ass in your own shop. You, you nor Caesar had to react the way that you reacted to Donna. Y'all escalated the situation. Y'all did. I'm sorry. I don't care what nobody say. Fight me. She They escalated the situation. Um putting on the fucking show for everybody you don't have to put on the show for everybody you got your business why do this and so that everybody can start talking negatively about your business i don't want to go there because you know they always fighting and some shit be doing you don't want to do no shit like that that fucking irked me i can't wait till donna i want donna to beat the shit out of duchess i want sky to beat the shit out of duchess i really do i i just can't but anyway y'all tell me how you feel about it this is long for real but I had to get this shit out. And I'll see y'all later. Peace.